Good afternoon. Uh, let me first introduce myself. My name is uh, Matthias Huang and I'm a study engineer with a background in uh, ecology and a computer science master. I am specialized in atom-based modeling and information system dedicated to the interactions between environmental and humans, human sciences. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm working in a geography applied to environment research laboratory called Geomer. And my talk is entitled An Educational Role Playing Game in the Contest Context of the Sustainable Management on the Island of Wesson. This work comes from collaboration with Jean-François Lefebvre from Oxiane and Pascal Nicole from Oceanopolis, which is an aquarium near Brest. In a first step, I will present you the background of this project, then a brief uh, presentation of the Corvus uh, multi-agent modeling platform, and finally, the core of my presentation will concern the role-playing game. To start with, I'd like to say a few words about the background. Three years ago, an interdisciplinary team developed a multi-agent system on Wesson, a small island of the coast of Brest. So here, you see Brest, where we are, Wesson, this island. Uh, this island is part of a Man and Biosphere Reserve, a UNESCO program. So Wesson is concerned with shrub encroachment, consequences of a generalized and progressive abandonment of agriculture in the 1920s and the decline of traditional breeding, with sheep breeding. The main goals were firstly to understand former vegetation dynamics. So here, for example, from grassland to uh, black thorn bushes. And uh, secondly, to represent the main actor's view of natural resources and their dynamics in relation to their own practices. So here we can see, for example, the sheep grove, uh, graze on the coastal lawn, <coughs> the coast farmer, uh, Clears the undergrowth. So the management strategies established for each type of stakeholders were then formalized, and the impact of these strategies on biodiversity was measured on various time and spatial scales. Here you can see a simulation for the most realistic realistic trends for each identified dynamics. So in order to discuss the first outputs of the modeling process with the local stakeholders and get new inputs on their behavior in relation to shrub encroachment, an adapted model was jointly developed by the researchers and the regional park as a support to a role-playing role -playing game. In this video you can see local stakeholders playing their own role. A game lasts about one hour during which one ten years elapsed on the model. The game board is updated each round with tiles representing the different types of vegetation and at the end arrives the debriefing phase where all actions are discussed and argumented. Let us now move on to the second point of my presentation uh, which concerns the Cormas simulation platform developed by the CIRAD, uh, French uh, research uh, uh, structure. Uh, so CORMAS is a simulation platform based on the Visual Works programming environment which allows the development of applications in the object-oriented programming language Smalltalk. So CORMAS predefined entities are Smalltalk generic classes from which, by specialization and refining, users can create specific entities for their own model. Cormas can be used to load and run existing models and to design new models from scratch. You can see the main interface on the first view of the slide. Um, 
To design the current model, three successive steps are suggested uh, as illustrated by the second view. So the first is to implement classes from the UML uh, class diagram. Second one, one, to write initialization and scheduling uh, of simulation scenarios. And the third one, to specify means to visualize simulation scenario. Um, the graphical user interface involved to initialize and run a scenario are shown in the figure 3, so where you can choose the initial, uh, initializing method and the step, uh, stepping method and other parameters. And finally, the visualization tools allowing to follow what's happening during a simulation run are shown on the last view, where you can uh, 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 parameters, right, the, the props, the messages, and the space. So this brings me to the last point of my presentation, the role-playing game mod PK. Uh, in addition to this project, the team has considering the option of developing an educational adapted role-playing game designed by the agent-based modeling network and playable with a wide range of public visiting uh, the Oceanopolis Aquarium in Brest and particularly for education to the concept of sustainable management for students and school children. Actually, the limits of this game are that three persons are mobilized uh, a game master, a small talk uh, user on the computer to uh, drive the, the model and a game board uh, update, updater that comes uh, on the, the game board to update the, the tiles. The human interface, the machine interface is uh, multi-windowing and uh, non-user friendly as you can see uh, here. And the game board is a prototype with uh, mismatched uh, toy pounds. Uh, so the constraints uh, imposed by Oceanopolis uh, was uh, only one facilitator to lead uh, the game, uh, a full screen user friendly interface, and a consumer game board. To resolve this problem, we chose to couple the CoreMass platform with a wireless touch screen peripheral, like uh, this one, uh, that works with the Bluetooth. Uh, and uh, and so uh, the, the, this uh, this uh, peripheral allowing the game master to stand around the game board, lead uh, the game, record the action of players, and update the ties uh, alone. Uh, the game board and the pounds have been redesigned too by Autonopolis uh, in uh, in wood. Uh, all is currently in development, but uh, enough to show you uh, a demonstration. So you can see here the a representation of the game board, uh, where uh, the green uh, case <coughs> are the grassland, represent the grassland, uh, the red one uh, the undergrowth, the black one uh, is black turned bushes, uh, and the, the blue one the sea, and the yellow one is the, 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 the the coastland uh, vegetation, uh, 
where uh, uh, people from Moisson uh, take uh, some uh, turf, collecting some turf to prepare uh, uh, a traditional island dish, uh, a stew uh, under the stew under the, the turf. It's a traditional uh, dish. So. Uh, the facilitator can uh, move uh, around the, the game board where our player are and uh, uh, look all the, the action. The first, uh, the first one is to place the house uh, of the, uh, the different uh, player because they, they choose uh, uh, the emplacement of their house uh, with uh, uh, in function of their, uh, their role. And after uh, the first round uh, beginning, so uh, each uh, player uh, put his uh, pounds, for example, sheep on the on the, the game board. Uh, yeah. So it's easy for the facilitator to see what's uh, what's on the the game board and uh, record it on the model. The the co Farmer uh, do the same, and uh, there is also uh, a rabbit. It's for uh, uh, hunting culture, and uh, this one is to uh, to clear uh, the the bushes. Uh, some uh, some player can uh, can add this action to clear the, the bushes. And uh, also collecting uh, the, the turf, so it's uh, we can see uh, it on the interface. And after uh, we can uh, the, the facilitator can uh, validate and see the evolution of the the model, and so update the game board with the uh, the, uh, the different. Uh, with the, the, the changes uh, at each uh, each round, he can uh, uh, pick up all the bounds and uh, do the, the next step uh, as the, the, the same uh, the same way. Put uh, all the different uh, objects. No. So, in conclusion, uh, the use of small talk uh, in this project was uh, imposed to me because uh, of the use of Karma's modeling platform. Uh, so, it was not a, a choice uh, at the beginning. Uh, furthermore, as a begin be be beginner, I found it easy to use, particularly due to the fact uh, that you don't have to, to compile and to see what, uh, what you've learned. Also, uh, we hope that, that this role-playing game will multiply, multiply the discussions with various stakeholders and provide new inputs to the agent-based model or generate a new set of scenarios. These are part of the current and future research to be developed by opening the team to the educational community. Thank you for your attention.